What if I told you the most trusted library on the internet was exposed by a flaw so dangerous hackers could take over your server by one single HTTPS request? No login, no password. Just boom. This isn't a movie plot, this actually happened. And today we're breaking down the story of React Hacked. In early December, the React team quietly dropped an advisory that shook the developer community to the core. They revealed a critical flaw buried inside React's server component system, the very feature meant to modernize the web. This vulnerability, officially labeled as CVE 2025-55182 and dramatically nicknamed as React to Shell, allowed attackers to execute a code on a server just by sending it a malicious request. You didn't need to authenticate, you didn't need password or any sort of access. If a server existed, it could be targeted. To understand the danger, you need to see how the server components communicate. So React basically uses something that's called the flight protocol. It's basically a system that sends serialized data between the browser and the server. But in certain versions of React, this process trusted incoming data far too much. When a malicious payload was sent to the server, React would deserialize it without properly checking it. Once you influence a deserialization, you can influence how the modules load. And once you influence module loading, you're basically holding the door to remote code execution open. This wasn't a niche configuration or a weird corner case. A massive amount of apps, including many built on Next.js, used this setup by default. Which means developers were vulnerable even if they didn't realize they were using server components at all. React isn't just a library, it's a huge chunk of the modern web. Dashboards, SaaS tools, banking portals, data platform, internal enterprise system, you name it. So when a vulnerability hits React at a server level, it's not just a bug, it's a global incident. Security researchers even reported that a certain threat groups have already begun scanning the internet for unpatched systems. When something is pre-auth RCE, meaning no login is required, it becomes a race against time. The React team responded quickly. Patched version of React landed almost immediately. Next.js rolled out emergency updates. Company launched internal audits. Security teams began scanning logs for suspicious requests. But beyond the security patches, this system raised an even bigger question. How safe are the foundations of modern web? And how do we as developers treat the tools that we rely on every day? This isn't about React being bad. This is about us understanding that no library, no framework, no matter how iconic, is immune to risk. Dependencies aren't just packages, they're potential attack vectors. The biggest lesson to learn here? Update your dependencies. Not six months from now, not when I have time. Update them today. This vulnerability shows how even a small oversight in the framework code can ripple across millions of applications. You might think your little front-end project isn't important enough to attack, but attackers don't care about what your project does. They care about what machine it runs on. Security isn't just for DevOps team. It's for every engineer deploying an app, every developer writing the code, and for every company that uses the web. React didn't crumble. It stumbled, and the shockwave is felt everywhere. What matters now isn't the flaw, it's the awareness that it created. The wake-up call it delivered to all of us building on systems we assumed are safe. If this breakdown helped you understand what went down, hit like, subscribe and share it with your team. Because security, it's a collective responsibility. Stay safe, stay updated and I will see you in the next one.